Hey everyone, today I wanted to make this quick video on comparing the popular four Patriots Sun Kettle versus the Sun Labs SKV4. This is a very uh, new um, solar water heater that just hit the market about three months ago. And when I was thinking about buying this thing, there weren't really any videos comparing the two. So I thought I'd make this to hopefully help some people out. Now at first quick glance, these do look fairly similar. However, the Sun Labs SKV4 has about five or six benefits or advantages, I would say, over the four Patriots. Um, and I thought this video would just be good to make to show the benefits. Uh, the four Patriots, I believe, runs around $99. Uh, this one runs about $129.95. But the extra $30, I feel, is really justified in the benefits that you'll see here. Now, I have had my four Patriots Sun Kettle for about a year now. I purchased it from their website. I've used it probably about 12 to 15 times uh, going camping and things like that. I've never had to use it in an emergency situation, but that's one of the main reasons I bought it was, you know, kind of a survivalist item. If you need to boil water and rehydrate food or things like that, if the power goes out, these are a great thing to have. Um, now, if you already have a Four Patriots Sun Kettle, great. It's a great product, and I'm not knocking this at all in this review. I just thought it would be worth doing this video review to show the upgrades that the SKV4 has. Uh, if you already have one, I'd recommend getting a second or a third because both of these only hold about 16.9 ounces or one pint. So that's not a ton of water. Uh, so I'd recommend having at least two or three of them. Okay, so in this comparison, I will be first going over the six advantages of the SKV4, and then I'm gonna be doing a field test out in the sunshine here in Arizona uh, and see how quickly each one uh, brings it up to boiling temperature, 212 degrees. Okay, so having them opened here, first thing you can probably see is the color difference in the tubes. On the Four Patriots Sun Kettle, it's got a blue tube. On the Sun Labs SKV4, it's got a red tube. Supposedly, this new upgraded tube uh, is more efficient and it'll bring, you know, boil water quicker, up to 15% faster, what they say. Okay, the next upgrade is, of course, the built-in thermostat on the top here, which you can just walk by, take a quick glance, see what temperature your water is at. It's also worth mentioning it's analog, it's not digital, so no batteries are required. Um, you know, on the Four Patriots model, it does not have a thermostat, so every time I've been using this one, I have to use my household uh, thermometer, you know, unscrew the lid, stick it in there for 30 to 45 seconds, take a reading, screw it back on, do that about every half an hour to ensure it doesn't overboil, you know, and possibly explode. So having a built-in thermostat is definitely a plus. Now by easily monitoring the temperature with the built-in thermostat, you don't have to worry about the unit boiling dry, which can happen. And these are not meant, these solar water heaters are not meant to be out in the sun, um, you know, and boil dry. It can crack the glass tube and destroy your unit. So you want a thermostat like this one built in so you can quickly and easily monitor the temp. Another really, one of my favorite features about this is this is actually removable. It just has a rubber cork. This little thermostat is removable and you can actually fill bear with me if I spill a little bit. You can fill the unit back up, it takes about 30 seconds, with water without having to remove the lid. So that's really nice. If you don't want to have to unscrew the lid, it's just a lot faster. And what's even better, of course, is when your water is boiling, you can just tip it and pour it into your coffee or your tea or your food or whatever. So you don't have to remove the lid to add water or remove it like you do on the Four Patriots. You have to unscrew this all the way, add the water, pour it out. And you know, this actually can cross thread fairly easily. Um, so I don't really like removing the lid too much. Um, so having that option on the SKV4 where you don't have to remove the lid at all to add or remove water, another perk. Now a nice benefit of this tapered rubber cork is if I put it back inside, it holds the water. This, this thing is fully full of water. You can tilt it all the way upside down. And as you can see, there's water in there, but it does a really good job of keeping water from leaking out. Now, because both these solar water heaters will actually bring water to boil, boiling water creates steam, steam creates pressure. It's good to have a safety, you know, pressure release valve. So if you're away from your campsite or you fall asleep and this thing's out in the sun, you know, and too much pressure builds, this will pop, release the pressure, preventing any accidents. Now this has that, it just works a little different. This tapered rubber um, cork 
you know, you just lightly push it in there like so. This is the weak link, so if pressure builds, too much pressure builds, this will pop open and release the pressure, preventing any unwanted accidents. Okay, now on to the handles. Because these are metal and out in the sun, you know, for an extended period of time, two, two and a half hours to bring water to boil, this is also in the sun, and this can get very, very hot. I've actually, I recommend using a glove if you have the 4 Patriots edition, just so you don't potentially burn yourself. On the SKV4, they added a rubber, uh, you know, kind of insulator, little handle, preventing, you know, any one unwanted burns. This keeps it where it's not, you know, too hot to touch. Another upgrade to the handle is you can tell this one is very round. This one is more spread out. This offers on the SK4 a lot more lateral support. So when you're laying these things down into the sun, this one will tip over more with wind versus this one, which has a wider stance. Another nice upgrade. Now it's worth mentioning on the SKV4, you know, for rapid filling, if you don't have third, you know, time 30 seconds to pour it in by hand, you can of course remove the lid, stick it in a stream, easy peasy. Okay, and the last benefit is that it includes the stainless steel uh, vertical adjustment rod. Uh, and I'll show you what that uh, does and how it makes heating up your solar water heater on the SKV4 uh, more efficient. Okay, so all you do is you take your vertical adjustment rod, stick it in the ground, Take your SKV4, place it on the handle, and you can adjust this up and down. Okay, I have both units opened up here, Sun Kettle on the, the left here and the SKV4 on the right. Um, now, I have these facing directly towards the sun, which you're supposed to do, you know, and over time it heats up your tube. And as the sun moves throughout the sky, you know, about every half an hour, you might have to go out and readjust so it's, you know, in line with the sun. Now, where the SKV4 really shines is this vertical adjustment rod allows you to adjust the vertical orientation of the heater. So as I raise this up, you'll see the sun begin to hit the tube directly allowing maximum efficiency and speeding up your process and getting your uh, water boiling. Now please forgive my shadow, I'm right here in the direction of the sun, but as you can see there, that's just hitting the sun directly, where the sun kettle, you know, is still facing the sun, but it's just not getting maximum exposure like the SKV4 is. So I'm gonna head home and set these up and do a field test side by side, see how much quicker the SKV4 brings water to boil. Okay, a couple other things worth mentioning on the vertical adjustment rod. These aren't mentioned in the instructions, but uh, since this is kind of rubber, you know, uh, here and, and rubber here on the handle, it really creates an anti-slip type property where even if it's windy, it just, it holds, which I find really nice. It's pretty windy out here today and the thing just doesn't want to to move, where if this was bare metal to bare metal, I'm sure it would be slipping all over the place and get out of alignment. Another thing I like is, since I'm not used to using the SKV4, I haven't used it as many times as the 4 Patriot Sun Kettle, I've almost forgotten to grab this out of the ground a few times when I left, and having a little red marker here, you know, is a nice way to uh, remind yourself to grab it. Okay, I'm back at my house. I filled each one up with cold tap water. On the SKV4 it says, we're about 74 degrees. Okay, I have both units now set up. Uh, as you can see, the SKV4 is just radiant with the sun reflecting. It's almost hard to look at. Uh, so I'll be coming back to do a temperature check every 30 minutes on each unit, so stay tuned. Okay, it's been a half an hour. Over here on the SKV4, it is showing about 104, 105. I'm gonna set this down on a tripod. My gloves on. It's, the water's not probably too hot yet on uh, the four Patriots. I'm just kind of used to wearing gloves. So let's get the temperature of this one. My thermometer it takes about 30 seconds. I usually leave it in. Okay, kind of hard to see here. It looks like it's not up to 110 is where it starts. It looks kind of like it was around 90 degrees. That's what I'm guessing. It'll be easier to tell once it heats up above 100. So we'll check in in a half an hour. All right, get the four Patriots set back up. And 
and we'll check back in a half hour. Okay, it has been officially one hour. Head over here, we're looking at about 141 maybe. One thing I've been noticing is the four Patriots is sort of leaking. It drips about every 10 seconds. Let's see if you can see it. It's starting to form there. So I don't know if I just have a... What's going on there? I haven't seen that happen before. Maybe the seal's going bad or something. I don't know. But let's check the temperature on the four Patriots. It's worth mentioning the ambient air temperature right now is about 64 degrees, but very windy. We're getting about uh, 20 mile an hour gusts. Okay, it looks to be about 129, 130 degrees. We'll check back in a half hour. Okay, we are officially at 90 minutes. One and a half hours in. We're looking at about 177 degrees on the SK4. All right, we'll test the temperature. Metal handle's getting pretty hot. I can even feel it through my glove. So let's check the temperature on this. You know, one of the other kind of unfortunate things of removing the lid is you're releasing, you know, built up heat in there. That's kind of a shame. It's definitely getting warmer though. You can see it's fogging up the thermometer. I'm trying to get a good angle. It's hard to see with the sunlight here. There we go. Looks to be about 150. See if it climbs up anymore. Yeah, 151 maybe. All right, it's worth noting that I, uh, about 90 minutes in, I had to raise up the SK4 on the uh, vertical adjustment rod to get the sun back in line. Okay, we are officially at the two hour marker. Over on the SK4, we're looking at about 203 degrees. Getting pretty darn close. And we'll check the four Patriots. Okay, four Patriots, temperature time. You can bear with me as I try to let you see the temperature. And there we go, it's climbing. 160, 165, 170, 170. there's no way it's going to be close to 203 like the SK-4, yeah, about 171. Maybe 172, so yeah, definitely, definitely a lot less going slower than the, uh, the SK-4. Alright guys, the time has officially come. Two hours and ten minutes in. We are officially 212 degrees. Boiling went a lot faster than I thought it was going to considering it's only 63 degrees out and there's some really strong winds Okay, it is time to make some tea All right time for some tea. I love myself some Earl Grey Pour on in Nice and hot Okay, it has been two hours and 15 minutes on the four Patriots. Let's see where we're at. Sorry, bear with me. It's incredibly hard to see the red thermometer here in the sun. So we're at 160, 170, 175. I just don't think 
the four Patriots is going to get the boil. 180. Yeah, it's just not performing as well as the SK4. Probably has to do with that uh, more efficient red tube they have now, and of course that uh, vertical height adjustment. Because, yeah, we're only about 183, so that's quite far, far away from 212. I might let this one sit out for another half hour, 45 minutes, just to uh, see if it will get up to boiling. All right, we're at three hours and 30 minutes on the sun kettle. I like to finish this review up. It's a little foggy. Looks to be about a hundred and let's see, 180. Steam is starting to fog up the thermometer. Come on, baby. 190, hopefully. You know, I just don't think this one's going to get to boiling. Or otherwise, it would probably take, you know, four, four and a half hours. Yeah, we're not even at 190. I think that's what it was on the last clip. So I think this is just where it's going to be. I love myself some Earl Grey. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video side-by-side -side comparison review on the uh, Four Patriot Sun Kettle versus the Sun Labs SK V4. I was actually really surprised with how much faster the SK V4 was over the Sun Kettle. I, you know, I've used the Sun Kettle about 12 to 15 times. It is great. It does work. I've never used it in 63 degree weather like today is. I usually use it in 75 to 80 degree weather on from my testing when I go camping and things like that. But it's nice to know the SK V4 uh, will bring water to boil even at you know lower 60 degree temps. Uh, next test I'm probably going to do, I'll throw up another video eventually of me doing it in 50 degrees or 40 degrees just to see if it'll even bring water to boil at those temperatures, which would be really nice. So I'll put links below to where you can buy both of these brands on their websites, Etsy, eBay, all that stuff. Uh, if you found this video informative, please give it a like. Comment below. I respond to all comments and uh, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.